Well, coming up on the next edition of Road to Glory, we are here at the Kettles and Bruce gym in Kent, and I'm here to talk to multi-weight, multi-division champion Dexter Horton, who goes for the biggest prize in the Quest Boxing League competition on Saturday, November the 19th at the K2 Arena in Crawley, challenging for the vacant British lightweight title. And Dexter, um, we were just chatting off camera there and, um, and going through you know, a, a stellar career in the, in the Quest Boxing League so far. So before we head into this next fight, talking about your, uh, your showdown for the biggest prize in the competition against Jack Johnson from Newcastle, let's have a little recap. So you started the competition facing Sean Haylock up at light welterweight and won the novice belt. Next up, took care of business beating Seb Hallett to, uh, to win the regional belt up at light welterweight. And then last time out, new division, new title, the national belt in a, a devastating performance to beat Sean Smith with that, uh, that body shot to, uh, to become national champion. So on Saturday the 19th of November, it's kind of history in the making. If you, if you beat Jack Johnson, you'll be the first ever fighter to go through every title from novice up to British um, in the competition. So I've kind of set that up well, haven't I? It's, 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 that's, quite, that's quite impressive. Even I'm excited. Yeah, um, that but was plan. Talk us through your progression. And, and did you think when you first started in the competition that you would get to this stage of challenging for the British? Yeah, that, that was always a plan. Um, that British title was always a plan. And we wanted to do it like one step at a time. Even at times when like the fights that we've had, me and um, Hallett had for the... Uh, novice title that fight could have been for a regional or a national title that's the level that we was at but i always just wanted to go from the national the regional sorry the novice the regional the national and the british and now we got that shot for that british title so i'll be the first one like you said to have all four belts which is what we've always planned that's to do with it? it i mean it would be a, an incredible achievement i mean looking back at the fights obviously your opener against um, the champion Sean Haylock back in September 2021. As fights go, that was, a, that was a throwback fight. That was a fight where it had literally everything from, you know, you getting rocked, Haylock getting rocked, Haylock getting put down in the final seconds. You know, it was an absolute barnstormer to a fabulous performance against Seb Hallett, putting him down in the opening round and then winning on points in a, in a really competitive fight. And I think really the, the sort of quickest and fastest fight was for the national belt last time out against Sean Smith. So, you know, you've put the work in, you've, you've gone through the, the route from, like you say, novice, regional, national, up to obviously challenging for the British. So, you know, from your perspective as a fighter, from your coach's perspective, it must be quite a proud feeling to know that, you know, you've done it the hard way, you've faced everybody that's been put in front of you, but now obviously a serious test against Jack Johnson uh, on the 19th at the K2. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, all my fights um, have been good fights and at high levels, which is what we always ask yeah. for, like the best fights, the best opponents. And we've like grown, like fight after fight. The aggression keeps getting like the more, getting and more, more, the power's getting more, the um, boxing skill and abilities just keep evolving. And that's what we just keep doing. We keep working in the gym, making sure that we look at our opponents and see how we're going to beat them and we always come out on top. Yeah, I know that uh, across social media there's been a, a little bit of back and forth <laughs> between uh, yourself and Jack, you know, all, all good natured but, yeah. you know, Johnson saying that, you know, he's not coming all the way down from Newcastle to, uh, to make the numbers up, you know, he's, uh, he's coming down to, uh, to cause an upset. Um, and, you know, he's an experienced fighter, you know, you see on his resume, you know, he's, uh, he has fought some great, great fighters outside the competition. So he's not, like I say, coming to, to make the numbers up. But for yourself, let, let's start at fight camp, because for you, you're kind of in a unique position that you fought on the 17th of September, winning the national title. This fight is only, you know, nine, ten weeks after that. So coming into fight camp, you must have been already buzzing and fit, I mean, pretty much sort of 70, 80% fit from, from your last fight. Yeah, so um, I had a, a long fight camp for the um, previous fight against Smith, and obviously that only lasted 60 seconds. Um, I was a bit disappointed that it happened so quick, but yeah, we at the like end of the- Yeah, a couple more rounds. Yeah, a couple <laughs> more, yeah, but I was, I came out with aggression. I came out 
like thinking, I don't want this to go the distance. The fight before, one of my stable mates went the distance and they gave him a draw. So I came out with a lot of aggression. So, yeah, but apart from that, um, I was happy to know that, okay, 10 weeks time, I'm going to be going out again because I didn't feel satisfied with what happened on that night. So um, I took two weeks off just so that when I go back in camp, I can give it 100%, took two weeks off, and then I went straight back in camp. Mm. Now we're only three weeks out, three yeah. and a half weeks out. I'll come to you, Coach Dave. Um, obviously, you train a lot of fighters. There's a lot of fighters uh, currently active in, uh, in the Quest competition. But, you know, describe Dexter as a fighter, I mean, in terms of, you know, what does he like to train? Well, he puts everything into it, into it, sorry. And even at the end of the session, they're still egging each other on, still trying to go the extra mile. So there's nothing, you can, you can ask him anything and he will do it. He's, he puts in 100% into everything. He's, he's, just, he's one of the best people I've worked with. So it's good, it's good if you can have people that listen, they take it on board, they spar well, they help people around them as well, which is nice to see, like the, the fighters that aren't as good as Dexter. So. That there is, is the whole package, is the whole package. He's got skill, he's got power, he's, and then he'll have a British belt in a few weeks' time as well. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's a pleasure to work with. He really is, he really is. What do you, um, you, you've touched on it a couple of times there, um, what do you attribute to the increase in power? Because obviously we've seen, you know, his performances earlier on in the Quest career, but mm. like you say, the, the power does seem to be there. He seems to be hitting harder. Yeah. I mean, proof in the pudding was obviously yeah. the stoppage against uh, Sean Smith, who, you know, it, is incredibly tough and incredibly durable. And, and I spoke to Smith after that fight and I said, I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised. Mm. And he said, you know what? He said, that body shot, it yeah. literally took everything. There was no way I, I was getting up from that. Anyone that steps in the ring with Dexter, for his weight, there is no one that touches him with that power. The power that he's got, I don't know where it gets it from. It's, I don't know what he's eating of a night, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, he's got different power to someone who's 61 kilos. It's, it's ridiculous. So, like even like we'll have heavy lads who he spars with, and they feel his power, and, and they'll all say the same thing. It's, it's beyond him. It really is. Mm. But yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. We like it. Yeah. I mean, apart from the um, the motivation of you know becoming British champion, yeah. the fight camps are grueling. The, the training for boxing is is you know is like nothing else. From mm -hmm. every every layer of the preparation, from the the weight making to the sparring to the running to the the fitness, every element that people don't realise that goes on yeah. behind the scenes to become the fighter that you've become, but also to be fight ready on the night. I mean. Apart from becoming a British champion and winning the titles, what, what motivates you? Where, where, where does the drive and desire come from for you? What, what takes you that extra mile to become ready? Yeah, you know what it is with me? Once I've set my mind to do something, that alone is drive enough and motivation enough to achieve it. Because the only time, for me personally, the only time I see myself as failing is when you give up. So as long as I keep pushing and keep trying, like I'm always gonna be learning, I'm always gonna be improving. So for me, it's just making sure that I get to where I say that I'm gonna be. So if I said that like, when I've done the first trials to be on the show, I said, I want that British title. Like I, look, I used to see the show on TV and I'd be like, oh, this looks so cool. Like I wanna be that guy, I wanna be that person. I wanna be on the front of the posters, I wanna be the British champion and I want all the other belts as well and that's what I've set my mind to and I just had to do it I had to accomplish it like as Dave, Dave said to you in my training like once I put my mind to something I'm gonna do it and that's it's same with my training is the same way I take the fights and that's it really I mean obviously we'll, we'll rewind uh, two fights ago to the, the Seb Hallett fight which was at the K2 arena in Crawley and yeah. I've got to say Hairs on the back of the neck standing up, the atmosphere, the sort of the electricity in the arena during that fight was uh, phenomenal. But, you know, it's, a, it's the biggest stage of the season, really, in terms of a ter as an arena goes. Yeah. I mean, it's an incredible venue. But, you know, do you visualize yourself like a lot of fighters, you know, with that belt? Do you visualize yourself, you know, being crowned champion? Yeah, 100%. I, I can't see it going any other way. I've trained hard for it. 
for me, more times it comes down to the fitness. As long as the fitness is there, I've been putting in the work, doing the running, doing the training. As long as that's there, everything else will play out on the night. And I'm going to make sure that that's there. Well, I have been making sure that that's there. So I can't see it going any other way at all. Mm. I see myself with that belt as a champion. And it's going to be another like, great performance. I'm going to come out there to hurt my opponent. And um, it's over five rounds as well. So that's plenty of time to cause some damage. Mm. So yeah, I'm ready. How does it feel to be the target man? Because I know, you know, we've, we've seen the evolution of the competition and you, you see fighters come in um, and they progress like yourself and they build up and all of a sudden they become one of those, I'll say one of those marquee names in the sort of competition where people look at the guys who are at the top of the division, the guys who are making the waves, the guys who are winning, and all of a sudden it's like, well, I want to fight Dexter Houghton. He's the man with the belts. As that momentum has gathered, novice, regional, national, and now challenging for the British, does it feel like I've got to perform even more now because I've established myself as one of the best in the, in the competition, one of the big names? I can't let that slip. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Uh, I, see, I see it all the time, especially people in my weight class, lightweight and um, light welter. I'm always, I'm always watching, seeing what, what they're doing or what they're saying. And I know a lot of people are watching me and seeing what I do and want to get in there with me, and I welcome it. I'm, I'm happy to fight anyone. You know that any name you put in front of me, I've never said, oh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm ready to fight anyone. I'm confident in my ability, in the power, in being able to take a shot as well, especially down at lightweight, light welterweight, it's, there's no problems at all, and I'm not worried about any of them at all. I'm, I'm ready. And I, also, this was another reason why, when I came out in my last fight against Smith, I thought I had to do this fight, I had to finish it quick, because the previous national um, champion went three rounds with him. And I said, I'm not gonna do that. I need to make him know that I'm the real national champion just in case you want to have anything to say. And you couldn't say anything after that. So, Statement. Yeah. yeah. Big statement. Well, like I say, it is a historic moment in sort of uh, prospect on the 19th of November at K2. You know, if you become the British uh, champion, you'll have been the first man ever to do that in the competition. Um, an achievement that obviously nobody can replicate in terms of, you know, being that first person. So it's a big night in prospect, a fantastic fight card. And I know that the, the fans are looking forward to this. So, you know, final words as we sort of wrap this up and head towards obviously um, just under, well, just over three weeks to go to, uh, yeah. to the show, but final thoughts? Yeah, no, it's just nice to be uh, making history in the quest. Um, that's, that's always... Just have that belt yeah, ready. It's always good, man. <laughs> it's always good. Just make sure my belt's there on the night. And um, yeah, it's all good. Jack, make sure you make it down this time, mate, and let's go. That's it, that's all I've got to say. Well, gents, a pleasure talking to you here, obviously at the Kettles and Bruce Gym where you're based. And uh, like I say, that is all happening Saturday, November the 19th, the K2 Arena in Crawley in West Sussex. It's part of a huge triple header of championship boxing this November for Quest Boxing. And for this, you do not want to miss it.